Hey everyone, it's Brian for GumballTech.com, and in this video I'm going to be comparing a white 32GB iPhone 4 running iOS 4.2 Beta 1 versus a um, versus an 8GB iPod Touch 4th generation running iOS 4.1. So quickly I'm going to go ahead and go into settings and clear Safari's cache. Um, I will be opening apps, going to different websites and things like that. So I'm going to clear the history and the cookies and the cache. And do it one more time. Okay, and I'm going to go back to my home screens. Then I'm going to clear everything out of the multitasking dock. Okay, so everything is cleared. And first, I'm going to go ahead and open Calendar. Pretty much the same. And Photos open faster on the iPhone 4. Let's open the camera app. Faster on the iPod Touch. Let's go ahead and open YouTube. Exactly the same. Maps. I, w I wasn't even paying attention that time. Uh, let's go to notes. Faster on the iPhone 4. Clock. About the same. Oops. Oh well, we'll skip calculator. Uh, voice memos. iPod Touch 1 a little bit. Stocks. Same. Weather. I tapped on the iPhone 4 first. Um, what else do we have? Let's go ahead and open up iTunes. iPod Touch 1 a little bit. What's next? App Store. Same with the iPod Touch a little bit. Um, let's go to Game Center. iPod Touch. Now I did notice that 4.2 Beta 1 on the iPhone 4 makes everything it, it's noticeably slower. In opening apps it's definitely a tad bit slower and I definitely noticed it right when I opened or right when I installed 4.2 Beta 1. Um, let's open up the iPod. Um, now let's go into Safari, then after Safari I'll do some more app testing. Um, let's go to Google. iPhone 4 definitely won. Um, let's go to MSN. Just go into some of the sites that come to my head first. So this one finished first, but this one started loading things a little bit quicker. Um, let's go to our website, gumballtech.com. Ah. Okay, let's try that one again. Okay, that wasn't really fair. Um, let's go to Twitter. Ah. Okay. Um, you know, I did tap this one first. Um, let's refresh. Yeah, the iPhone 4 refresh is faster. Um, let's go to YouTube. Yeah, the iPhone 4 finished a little bit faster. Let's go to, what's the website? Let's go to Engadget. Okay, these were exactly the same. This one loaded the ad faster than the iPod Touch. Um, let's go to one more website. Um, I'm going to make it be a sort of heavy website. Let's go to Costco.com. Yeah, 
Yeah, so the iPhone 4 definitely started loading images faster and it finished before the iPod Touch. So overall, the iPhone 4 is definitely faster when it comes to web browsing. Uh, you know, that extra RAM probably helps a little bit. Let me empty all of the apps that are, or that have been opened. Okay, now let's start opening some third-party applications. Um, most of these are the same on both devices. First, let's open the Justin.tv app. Faster on the iPhone 4. Let's go to the Pulse Reader. Faster on the iPod Touch, but the iPod Touch doesn't have as many uh, RSS feeds as the iPhone. So let's go to some social apps. Let me open um, the Everything iCafe app. iPod Touch definitely won. And it definitely got that push notification faster. Um, Let's open Twitter. Faster on the iPhone 4. Let me close some of these apps. Let's try opening some games. Cannabalt. Faster on the iPhone 4. Let's try opening Flight Control. iPhone 4 is definitely faster. Clear some of these out. Um, let's open Real Racing. Well, we'll go to Motocross. This one's usually a fast game to open. Yeah, the iPod Touch won that one. Let's go to um, where's Star Dunk? I think I have that one in my other folder for utilities. Now they both started up at the exact same time, but this one went to the main menu quicker. So let's open for the last app that I'll test. Let's go to Real Racing. Okay, that wasn't, well, okay, let's try that again. Okay, last app to open, Real Racing. Yeah, the iPhone 4 is definitely the noticeable winner. Yeah, it's much faster. That's most likely due to the 512 megs of RAM in the iPhone 4 compared to the 256 megs in the iPod Touch. Now I'm going to do one more thing, and that is a shutdown and startup speed test. Now the iPod Touch hasn't been fully turned off in about five days, or for two days, so let's go ahead and turn them both off. iPod Touch 1, surprisingly actually. So the iPhone 4 actually did a quick respring and now it's and then it shut off so that was a little weird. So holding the power buttons. So the iPod Touch is already at the lock screen, and the iPhone 4 is, at, is now at its lock screen. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock both devices. Now I'm going to do this one more time.
yeah, the iPod Touch is still faster when it comes to shutting down. So, starting them up. So once again, the iPod Touch started up a little bit faster. That could be due to a number of different things because the iPhone 4, you know, it has, you know, this, it has to connect to the cellular network and things like that. And that could take some extra time to, it could add to the boot up time. But anyway, that was a speed test between a, a white 32 gigabyte iPhone 4 and an 8 gigabyte iPod Touch fourth generation. Uh, they're both pretty speedy. When the, when it comes to more intense things like big web pages, uh, games, things like this, the iPhone 4 is definitely noticeably faster because of the 512 megs of RAM, which is double that of the iPod Touch and every other iDevice out there, including the iPad. But overall, they're both pretty speedy. Um, sometimes the iPod Touch won, sometimes the iPhone 4 won, sometimes they both were uh, pretty darn close together. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any comments down below, and please subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw. But, you know, thanks a lot for watching, so we'll see you later.